KSI and his sidemen beef. Now I said, if I was wrong, I would apologize. I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong. And if I am, I probably would say sorry to everyone, especially KSI who I'm questioning his character and why he made his album. In my opinion, if this beef was fake, it would make KSI look very bad. But right after my KSI video went out, Callup, someone who's very involved in the KSI beef, tweeted out this. This is good for the UK. Learn, adapt, and get involved. AKA, call me out in a video and let me tell you to bits in a diss track. Pretty much confirming this whole beef is fake just to benefit the UK, like I said. Americans are killing us. But what are the Americans like Rice Gum, Logan Paul, and Jake Paul doing? They're faking beef and drama to get more views. This is exactly what KSI and the Sidemen and Bazinga are doing to try and revive the UK YouTube scene. Hey, I'm going to call the drama fake without any actual evidence. It's just a speculation, but I'm going to go all out and seem like some incompetent asshole. It's not fake, for fuck's sake. Also, Ethan's way better than KSI and you combined. So to all the people, including the people I just read out who gave me so much shit because they said it isn't fake, it's all real, when I smell bullshit, it's usually right, and this time it most certainly was. So suck my big fat English balls. Since my last video, Road to Shaw made a diss track. Creature was shit. Why did we have to wait four months for it? Deji's made a diss track. Fuck the side men, I can't stand them. Literally a bitch made group, I don't rate them. Bazinga's made a diss track. My channel on your shoulders, your channel shit washed up, you're the oldest. There's five other guys you could have went in on, mistakes were made in the process. Rice Gum's gonna make a diss track. And the fake beef is in full effect. I mean, this shit show Bazinga has gone from gaining mere hundreds of subs a day to tens of thousands thanks to this beef. Also, another piece of evidence has surfaced. Now, I can't say for sure this is 100% legit, but it seems very reasonable. Vicstar had a live stream and he ended his live stream, closed down his game, and apparently accidentally showed a Skype group chat where some of the sidemen and other UK YouTubers were talking and it pretty much confirms the beef is fake. Callux, yeah, I'm gonna try my best without losing all my fans. Zerka, you don't need to actively beef anyone. If you're just in and around it all and making good videos, subs will come. Callux, yeah, agreed. So if this is true, this adds even more evidence to the fact that it is fake. Another thing I wanna point out to people who still don't think it's fake, I mean, come on now, please, just, it's fake. But just if you need a little bit more proof, on his sidebar of friends, KSI has added, you know, Rice Gum and Banks, two new additions that he had to do recently, and he hasn't removed any of the sidemen or any of the people he's beefing with. But I was getting all these comments, we know it's fake, it's obvious. Yeah, to us, but have you not seen the amount of comments on my video about people saying it isn't fake, it isn't fake? So I have no idea why KSI is straight up lying to his fans, saying that this beef is 100% real and it's not fake. There are so many YouTubers that are saying that this is all fake, this is just a publicity stunt, but I reached out to my good friend JJ in the DMs and I straight up asked him. I was like, just be honest. Is this fight real or is it fake? And KSI responded by saying, but yeah, shit ain't fake. So now his viewers and Sidemen viewers will take his word for it that it's all real. But now we know this is all fake. I want to turn this on KSI and question him about the whole Twitter blackout thing. All the stuff he said about why he's quitting YouTube, about fucking all the fame. And how now he's just done a complete 180 on everything he said. And the best way to do this is that he did an interview with Keem on Drama Alert, and he said a lot of interesting things in that, which I'll be bringing to light now. What's happening with the, with the Twitter and what you've been tweeting? What, what is this all about? Well, I mean, I mean, I've done all of this to show people that I don't care about the fame and I, I never really cared about the fame or money or any of that shit. I so clearly he states one of the reasons he's leaving is fuck the fame. Oh, I hate the fame. Fuck the fame. But when you're faking beef with your mates and claiming it's all real to your fans when it's not, it looks like you're very hungry for more fame. And if you really hate the fame that much and it's fuck the fame, then why are you using your fame to get discounts from Adidas and Nike? How much are we saying? 30%. 30%. I rare. I rare. It seems you weren't saying fuck the fame when you're getting them sweet discounts from Nike and Adidas for being famous. And in one store, you go as far as to ask for a discount because another store gave you one. Adidas hit us up with 30% discount. You gonna do the same, bro? You gonna give us 40%? Can you? 60%? Damn! Yo, Nike doing it big! Which is clearly you using your fame to get more discounts. But you know, fuck the fame though. And if that employee gets seen by his employer doing that shit, he could get really fucked over by that. The employee even says he'll hook you up 
As long as you and Rice come, just don't film it. Tell me that we can't hook you up. Yeah. We can't have it like on camera. On camera. But you and Rice come decide fuck it anyway, and you're still filming him. Oh hell, Habib, Lord Habib. So you could potentially fuck this employee over just because you want to use your fame for a few discounts when you have all the money in the world. That's why I delete so many videos on my channel. Like I delete over 600 videos because I was cleansing my channel because I thought it was just so much fucking shit on there that I just wasn't happy with. He said he's cleansing his channel because he's not happy with the content on there. You know, he wants to cleanse so he can make even better content when he returns. So what does he do for his glorious return now? He turns into a shitty reaction channel. Am I missing something? Is, this, is, that, is that now considered uh, good content? KSI, I thought you said you were going to remove this shit from your channel, not add to it. It doesn't mean I'm stopping YouTube. I'm just, I just want quality on my channel. I want the best of the best, so. We do all know reaction channels are the uh, creme de la creme, the best of the best. So he's hit the nail on the head right there. He is the best of the best. He's got the best of the best on his channel right now, like he wanted a few months back. I think when KSI said this, he definitely wouldn't have believed you if you said he would be faking beef to get views on his channel. In his mind, he's probably doing music videos and stuff and creating this great content, but now he's completely 180 in all his opinions, doing fake drama and making shitter content than he used to. Because I actually used to really like KSI's channel, and this shit is nowhere near anything he used to make. KSI also said this in his Road to Shore reaction. All right, yo, I don't have tits, fam. They're called pets! They're called pets! I have pets! When you have muscle there, fam! Ah, oh, you know what? Oh, look at them pecs, man. Damn, KSI. There's some fine pecs right there. <laughs> so now we know this is all fake and this shit is KSI doing it for more fame and more money and whatever it is. I don't know the true motives, but that's what it looks like. You have to go and question now his break. Why was he on a break? Like, was it all a promotion for his EP? Because I was thinking about it and KSI's music since like Lamborghini did really well, obviously, but the other music didn't do amazing, right? It was really shit. It was just rubbish. And people would normally skip over the music if he ever made a song. So when he takes a month break and he, he happens to just release an EP and some new singles, because of all the drama surrounding his break and there's no new fresh content, his fans are now forced to watch his new music. And it's actually a great way to promote music, but it's also a shitty thing to do if you say it's not a publicity stunt. I'm not releasing anything. I'm just, I'm just being me. But with all this fake beef and this KSI with Simon shit going on, you know, it makes that break look a lot more fake now than it really was. And, you know, you just have to question it and you have to think to yourself, was it a publicity stunt for his music? Because, you know, that music would have took a long time to make. So he might have known that and wanted to just focus on it. But, you know, he wanted to create some drama behind it. Who knows? You know, let me know your opinions down below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, KSI is definitely no sniper wolf on the This Video Make You Hate series. You know, she's a bitch. He's definitely way down the scale. Uh, it's just all this shit going on, you know, all this fake stuff. When he's saying it's truthful and, he's, and it's not true and, you know, he's using his fame and he's saying fuck the fame. There's a lot of stuff, you know, you have to consider. You know, KSI, I loved, I, well, I loved his content. I don't love it at the moment. So, you know, hopefully he goes back on the path he used to and doesn't keep making this shit. Thank you for all the support. We had 300k the other day, which is amazing. So please subscribe if you're new. We're still one of the fastest growing channels in the commentary community, which is insane. So if you guys want to help and join on board and you're enjoying the content, then please let me know. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, fuck off.